I, I was uh, thinking about this all last evening, and probably the most significant was my first trip to Stratford. Uh, I was a kid in the country school, and there were no resources. I mean, we did well to have pencils. And this is the uh, old story of uh, we walked uphill both ways, uh, uh, to school and home from school. Yeah. At any rate, um, we had a little library in the classroom, and uh, um, I managed to fish out a uh, Tales of Shakespeare and just got lost in it. So finally, by the time I uh, got to high school, I was determined that I was going to Stratford. And it wasn't that far away. It, uh, it was relatively uh, close by, uh, and um, it was magic. Uh, I remember everything about the day. It was a perfect October afternoon, uh, crisp and, uh, and, and warm. And I saw Henry V, and, and I was in love with the Festival Theatre and, and every actor on the stage. It was just magic. And, uh, and, and that's, I think, um, what uh, sticks with me, the magic. And of course, uh, it's been part of my life ever since. I make an effort to get to Stratford as many times as humanly possible. And then in the area, in uh, in the London area, we have wonderful, wonderful theaters, small theaters, summer theaters, Grand Band, Blythe, and uh, and they serve up an extraordinary array of uh, of musicals and comedy and um, just wonderful summer fair and uh, and I am most fortunate to have the Grand Theatre in my hometown of uh, London, Ontario and we've seen the likes of Martha Henry. She was the um, artistic director for a uh, number of years. So my, um, my experience of the arts has been extraordinary. Uh, I feel most blessed. In, uh, in the late or middle 90s, I guess more accurately, I was the junior minister for uh, culture and, uh, and the arts. And so I met some fabulous people who had a vision of what we can contribute as a community to artists and what they contribute back. So um, it's, uh, it's an ongoing love affair, I guess you would say. Well, uh, it's, there's without a doubt um, the old adage that uh, a country, a community uh, suffers. It can't grow, it can't be dynamic uh, unless it recognizes and celebrates its culture and its arts. Um, we know that um, um, intrinsically uh, these uh, elements add a great deal to, uh, to community not just um, um, for the sake of the wonderful culture and, and telling our stories, but there's an economic benefit as well. We forget that, I think, at our peril. And so the federal government has a leadership role in terms of making sure uh, that it is providing support, um, funding, opportunity, uh, in any way that it can in order to, s to support and, um, and, and encourage the arts. In London, Ontario, we have summer festivals, and they're wonderful festivals. The most famous is uh, Sunfest, and Sunfest uh, brings in tourists from all over North America. It started out very, very small. Uh, nobody thought it would fly, but in 19 short years, it's probably the number one arts festival of the summer in North America. And, uh, and they bring in artists uh, from across Canada and around the world. And the really wonderful thing is that uh, the CBC is there to record uh, and, uh, and document the festival, and that is distributed around the world, around Canada. And it also um, uh, helps to showcase up-and-coming new artists. So it, very, very important. Uh, we used to have other ethnic festivals. We used to have the um, African community, the Chinese community, uh, the Muslim community, the Spanish community, the Italian community uh, converge on um, uh, Market Square, which is right downtown, uh, every weekend of the summer, one after another. We don't have that anymore because the federal government's pulled the funding. They can't 
they can't find the uh, financing they need to make these incredible festivals thrive. And the tragedy is, of course, that when the Italians were in Market Square, all Londoners came out and they were all Italian for the weekend. And when uh, the uh, Muslim community came out, there was a learning opportunity and a joining of hands of, of neighbors and community. We missed that this summer, um, and, uh, and I think it's um, a tragedy. We need to make sure that those kinds of entities are supported, encouraged, financed, so that we can indeed uh, be the kind of, of community that's celebrating um, of our diversity. I, uh, I think that the federal government has an important role, and I regret very much that they've stepped back from that. Well, uh, the federal government, again, uh, a leadership role. Uh, we have some opportunities in terms of uh, uh, digital media. Uh, we know that um, the uh, federal government was trying to uh, sell um, access to digital media. I'm not sure how well that went. But the resources that would be gleaned from those sales need to be reinvested into um, the the broadband sector so that not just people in Toronto, not just people in London, Ontario can have access to the arts, but uh, people across the country in rural and remote communities. If you think about rural and remote communities, uh, we have incredible Native artists. I mean, this country is famous for its uh, First Nations and Inuit art. Why aren't we capturing that and broadcasting that all over the world? Cultural uh, diplomacy uh, is absolutely essential to us reestablishing our place in the world. In a lot of ways, we've lost it. We have to get it back. And uh, the digital uh, um, medium is an important aspect of that. So again, government, step up, do what you must do, do what is intelligent. Uh, support our poets, our authors, our filmmakers, uh, the uh, incredible people who make music and dance. We need to show the world just what kind of incredible talent we have here, and we should. And if, um, if it's possible at all, and uh, there's a change of government, we will.